today in this class i shall discuss some of the one and two mark textual uh, question and answer as well as important question and answer from the chapter constitution with its uh, constitution why and how this is the chapter of uh, political science hs first year in this video i will discuss uh, some of the very important question and answer which will be very helpful for your upcoming exam so without wasting any time let us see our first question for today here is our first question for today how many fundamental rights the constitution of india grants to its citizens answer will be the constitution of india grants six fundamental rights to its citizens next question on the basis of what the election to the constituent assembly were held answer will be the elections to the constituent assembly were held on the basis of communal franchise next question why did or what did india borrow from the british constitution that means uh, in indian constitution what are the things borrowed from uh, british constitution answer will be india borrowed borrowed okay this will be borrowed uh, the post of the speaker of lok sabha from british constitution next question define constitution you have to uh, define the constitution answer will be the constitution is a document that defines the basic allocation of power of a country next question which article defines the freedom of speech and expression answer will be article 19 defines the freedom of speech and expression next question who was the chairman of the union constitution committee of the constituent assembly the constituent assembly has one uh, union constitution committee we have to name the chairman of that committee answer will be pandit jawaharlal nehru was the chairman of the union constitution committee of the constituent assembly next question which was the first non official attempt at drafting a constitution of india answer will be constitutional bill of 1895 is called the uh, first attempt to uh, form the or to draft the constitution of india it was a non official attempt next question what does the term secular mean in the indian context in india what do we what do you mean by the term secular answer will be the term secular means all religions are equal in the eyes of the government next question who has the authority to enact laws and policies in the indian constitution answer will be parliament has the authority to enact laws and policies in the indian constitution next question which part of the which part of the indian constitution expresses declares that india is a sovereign socialist secular democratic and republic answer will be preamble declares that india is a sovereign socialist secular democratic and republic next question the constituent assembly was to cons consist of how many uh, members according to the cabinet mission plan according to the cabinet mission plan the constituent assembly has how many members you have to uh, answer the question the constituent assembly was to consist of 380 members according to the cabinet mission plan you can answer can you answer me in which year this plan was introduced in uh, constituent assembly can you answer if you answer uh, write down in the comment section next question a state responsive to the needs of individual must provide them the means by which their needs are communicated who said this line answer will be raja ramon roy said this line that a state 
representative uh, responsive to the needs of individual must provide them the means by which their needs are communicated next question the member of the constituent assembly were directly or indirectly elected you have to answer the members of the constituent assembly are directly elected or indirectly elected the answer is the members of the constituent assembly were indirectly elected next question which country has its constitution in an unwritten form answer will be britain has its constitution in an unwritten form next question the government of india introduced bharat ratna and padma shri award under which article answer will be the government of india introduced padma shri and bharat ratna award under article 18 of the constitution next question what is the purpose of directive principles of state policy in the indian constitution answer will be the purpose of directive principles of the state policy in indian constitution is to fulfill certain aspirations of the people next question from which the constitution idea of our preamble is borrowed that means from which country our uh, preamble is borrowed the term preamble is borrowed from which constitution answer will be the idea of our preamble is borrowed from us constitution next question who drafted the constitution of india answer will be the constitution of india was drafted by the constituent assembly next question who is described is the soul of the constitution who is or what is described is the soul of the constitution answer will be preamble is described as the soul of the constitution next question what are the words added by the 42nd amendment in the preamble answer will be the words socialist secular integrity are the three words that were added to the preamble by the 42nd amendment this question may be asked in different ways okay you should uh, remember this question very uh, skillfully next question who said democracy is a government of the people by the people and for the people this line is very uh, famous you should uh, know the answer answer is abraham lincoln said this line next question when did the constitution of india came into force answer will be the constitution came into force in january 26 1950 next question from which constitution india borrowed the provision of first past the post system answer will be india borrowed the provision of the first past post system from the british constitution next question can the preamble be directly enforceable in the court answer will be no the preamble cannot be directly enforceable in the court we cannot challenge the preamble in the court if we have any problem with the preamble we cannot go to the court for this uh, for the change of any thing in the preamble next question fundamental duties were included in the constituent uh, constitution by which amendment earlier the fundamental duties were not added in the constitution so by which amendment the fundamental duties were added in the constitution answer is by 42nd amendment the fundamental duties were included in the constitution here is the answer for this question let us see our next question for today how were the uh, members of constituent assembly were elected answer will be the members of constituent assembly were indirectly elected they were elected by following a indirect election okay let us see our next question for today here is the next question abolition of titles come under which article of the constitution answer will be abolition of title comes under the article 18 of the constitution next question from which country india borrowed the directive principles of state policy answer will be india borrowed the directive principles of state policy 
from Irish constitution. That is our next question for today. It is a fundamental duty of every citizen is to protect this question mark. Answer will be it is to uh, it is a fundamental duty of every citizen to protect our natural environment. Next question. Which article is enforceable during the period of emergency? Answer will be article 20 is enforceable during the period of emergency. Okay. Here is the end of the video. We shall meet you in the next video. Thank you all.